Welcome back to another episode of Better World. I'm your host, Corey. And I'm Pip. And we've got a whole lot of cool stuff to tell you. <laughs> My jumps are out off the chain. My jumps are off the chain. All right, guys, our first story today, published on August 14th on news.discovery.com, is all about NASA's Juno spaceship, which has officially hit its halfway point in its journey to Jupiter by 2016. Juno is expected to make one last slingshot trip around the Earth, getting as close as 559 kilometers, which is going to boost its velocity up to 16,330 miles per hour. <laughs> Juno is currently traveling at a velocity of 23 miles per second relative to the Sun. Which, in other words, is very, very quick. Now, when Ju Juno actually gets to Jupiter, uh, it's going to be the first time we're going to be able to see this planet in high def and not just through a telescope. We'll be able to conduct some studies on its strong magnetic field, its atmosphere, and try to answer some questions as to why some planets form as big gases and why others are like Earth. So, pretty exciting stuff. Finally reaches Jupiter by 2016, um, expected to touch down July 6th, I believe is to study the biggest planet in our solar system in depth. This is gonna be the first time that we're actually able to go there and not just look at it through some telescopes. And it might give us a bit more of an insight into how planets are formed and why some planets are gases and why some planets are like Earth. Pretty exciting stuff. Okay, so this next story we're going to get a little bit toey pip. <laughs> July 12th, newsmedical.net uh, states from my most favorite magazine of all time, Foot and Ankle International, have stated in the US there's been a decrease in lower limb amputations. Hooray! Now, nearly 26 million US children and adults are estimated to have diabetes. And by 2034, it is estimated that um, about 44 million people would be diabetic. Jeez. Now, over the past 10 years, Medicare claims have dis discovered that um, there's been a 28.8% decrease in lower limb amputations and a 143% increase in orthopedic and preventative measures. Great, that's all we got time for again, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, email us, yeah. And don't forget to tune in next week. You jealous? Kind of like my high kicks. <laughs> okay, are you guys confident? No. I don't know what I'm <laughs> I like that. I like that. 23. It's, tra it's traveling at 23. It's 23. Get 23. <laughs>